So let's look at the definitions of displacement, distance traveled, instantaneous velocity, instantaneous speed, and average velocity and average speed on an example. So we have here a graph of a movement where somebody moved from one meter to five meters within four seconds, then stayed there for two seconds and traveled back to uh, one meters per second, arriving here at eight seconds. So what is the total displacement? The total displacement is the final position minus the initial position. So we arrive at 1, we get back to 1, so the total displacement in this case was 0 uh, meters. Note that displacement could have been a vector. From 0 to 4 seconds, the displacement was plus 4 meters. So here we had plus 4 meters, while from uh, 6 to 8, we had a displacement of minus 4 meters. So a vector, meaning it had a sign. Now what's the total distance traveled? Well, of course the distance traveled is the 4 meters we traveled up plus the 4 meters traveling down gives us 8 meters. Then the instantaneous velocity, this is what we have plotted on the velocity time graph using our rules uh, of slope or uh, derivation to find the velocity at any moment in time, so instantaneous velocity. Now what would be the instantaneous speed? Instantaneous velocity was a vector as well because we had plus or negative signs giving us directions. Instantaneous speed would have been the same thing, just everything positive. So this one here, we would flip to the positive. So no big thing. Where it gets interesting is for average velocity and average speed. For average velocity, the rule is we take the displacement and divide it by time. So According to this formula, in this case, our average velocity was 0 meters per second. Now, can this be? Can this be? We can calculate it also as the weighted average. So we had for 1, 2, 3, for 4 seconds, we were traveling at plus 1 meters per second. Then for 2 seconds, we were traveling at 0 meters per second. And then for another two seconds, from six to eight, we're traveling at minus two meters per second. Now, if you do the weighted average, four times plus one is plus four, uh, plus two times zero, plus two times minus two gives me zero again, divided by the total time, four plus two plus eight gives me exactly the zero. So there are actually two ways of finding the average velocity. For the average speed, we take the displacement over time, so we had 8 meters, 8 meters over what was my uh, time, 8 seconds of total over 8 seconds, which gives me an average speed of 1 meters per second. Again, this is not a vector, so here we're just giving the 1 meters per second. Now for speed, we could look at the same thing uh, if we do the weighted average, if we get the same thing. For the first four seconds, we had one meters per second. Again, for speed, I'm looking at the time. Then for two seconds, we had zero. And then for the last two seconds, we were traveling at two meters per second of speed. So we get four seconds times one meters per second plus zero second times zero meters per second plus two uh, seconds times two meters per second over a total of 8 seconds, so I get 4 plus 4 is 8, is 8 meters over 8 seconds is 1 meters per second. So I get the same thing from the weighted average, or I can use this shortcut formula. Distance traveled over time, and for velocity, you can use the displacement over time.